Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about ellipses in C programming language or we can say how can we use function with variable number of arguments. So let's begin. In normal case scenario, we always have the definite number of arguments. For example, when we write the prototype, we generally write int fun, then let's say int and then int. Now, it means that only the two arguments will be used. In the definition also, let's say void fun, then int a and int b, only the two arguments are being used. But let's say in the same function, I want to send three arguments, four arguments, five arguments. Then one thing that we can do is to make the different function for different number of arguments. For example, this function for two values and then another function, let's say fun one with three for three values, right? And another function for four values or five values, but this is not a good approach. Now, instead of using this, we use the ellipses or using function with variable number of argument. To use ellipses, we have to use the three macros defined in the stdarg.h header file. These macros are va list, then va start, and then va arc, right? And these macros are defined in the stdarg.h header file. Right now, let's say how we can use it. First of all, we'll write hash include studio dot h and then hash include std arg dot h. Right now, we have to write the prototype of our function. So I'll write here, let's say void fun and in the first, I'll write here integer and then I'll write triple dot now this triple dot means ellipse right then i'll write void main and let's for now keep it empty and then let's write the definition of our function so i'll write here void fun then int let's say total and then triple dot right and here inside we will write the definition of our function now First of all, whenever we are using the ellipses in the first place, we have to write the number of arguments that we are going to send. Okay. Here. Now, let's say I'm calling the function fun with the having the two values and the first value is let's say 10 and the another is 20. Right. Now, what we will do here, we will make VA list pointer. PTR is pointer of type VA list and remember that VA list here is a macro then we write va start okay and inside it we write first of all our name of our va list pointer so i'll write here ptr and then what are the list that we are sending from the another function basically arguments so the first element is total so i'll write here total okay note that here ellipsis means that the number of arguments that are being sent after the previous data type will be variable in number okay so the here we are writing total now to consider it you can just for the imagining purpose or just for the ex understanding you can take it something like this you can assume that that it is an array right first element is 10 and the second is 20 and the size is 2 okay basically it is having two elements just for the understanding but these are not array remember that right so it is ptr and then there is total so now let's say i want to print the first element that is 10 for that i can make a variable let's say int and i'll write here num okay and i do num equals to va then arg this is also a macro then i'll write here ptr and then what kind of data we want to print basically this is integer type so i'll write here int okay and let's say i'll write here printf percent d and num now here it will give me output as 10 right similarly what va arg do it will also increment the pointer now first of all it will tell me what is the current value ptr will tell me what is the current value and then it will increment in itself to the next location for example let's me make another variable let's say n 
2 and now if I do n2 equals to v a arc and write the same line p t r int and here I write print f percent d and then I write n2 then it will give me output as 20. So, PTR is printing the value then it is going to the next location remember that. Now, let us say instead of sending two values I am sending here three values okay three three values and the last content is 30. Now, here will also be now 30. So, if I directly write here print f percent d and I write here v a arc then PTR then int then here it will give me output as 30 right because first var give the content of the first location then reach to the second location then here it will reach to the third location and here i am directly printing instead of assigning to some other variable directly printing the value so here it will give me output as 30 right so this is how we are able to send the multiple data or multiple arguments to our function Note that here I am sending the constant but instead of constant you can also send the variables. For example, I can write here int a equals to 4 and then I can send here instead of 10 I can send here a ok. So here in the first place and num1 it will give me output as 4 right. So you can also send the variable there is no problem in that. Now one thing to always remember whenever you are using ellipse that the character data or the character arguments are promoted to the integer right and float are promoted to the double right. So, let us say I am sending here instead of a I am sending here some character let us say the character is a ok this is character and there is no variable right. So, here instead of writing here character I will using the integer itself why because when we are using ellipses and the data type is promoted to integer. Right. So, here num will having the sky value of this character which is 97 right and then here instead of writing percent d I will write here percent c and then it will give me output as character a ok. So, remember that similarly let us say I am sending here the float value ok 2.5 now the float values are promoted to the double. So, here I will write here instead of integer note that this is the second value that is why I am changing here. I will write here double ok. So, this n2 and let me make this variable of type float n2 right. So, now this variable n2 will hold the value of type double ok. Basically, whatever value is present here that is 2.5 and it was character a right. So, it will assign this value to our variable n2 and then here I will write just percent f and it will give me output as 2.5000 right and some other additional 0 will also occur according to its size right. So, this is how we are able to send the data variable number of data along with the variable data type of data ok variable kind of data variable number of data right and variable kind of data. Remember that in the first location we generally prefer to send the number of data which is going to help. So, here I should write basically 3 because 3 data I am sending here. Now, one thing here is that it is not compulsory that the first argument you should send is the number of argument. Basically, you can write here let us say int and then int. You can also do it, but now the previous one is this one. So, this this particular will be used to tell the total number of the variables. So, here let us say 3 and then here it is 2 right and let us say here it is int just like normal I will write here normal and then int total and then ellipse right. So, here I am writing here total because it is before the ellipse right and if you want if you want to access the normal variable then I can simply write here printf percent d and then normal ok. So, this will give me output as right now I am sending 2 here. So, it will give me output as 2 ok. So, this is the basic use how we can send the variable number of arguments to our function ok variable number of data and variable kind of 
data so this is helpful feature that we can utilize so i hope you get the idea of using ellipse right so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video